Um, so this week, I kind of wanted to start just with a foundational principle, and that is that God exists. It is really hard to trust somebody that you don't believe exists, right? And so in Hebrews 11, we find this scripture, and it says, um, it's impossible to please God unless you first believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And that's uh, Hebrews 11, 6. Um, I found in my own life that when I, was, when I first became a Christian that the, my most difficult time as a Christian was the first five or six years because that was a time and a season of my life where I really was just unsure if this God that I'd given my life to was actually out there, if he was actually real. And I was going based off of other people's experiences and their testimonies and I didn't really have a testimony of my own or I didn't really have tangible proofs of my own that God actually existed. And so I came to this place in my walk where I really desire to have like tangible proofs, things that I knew that nobody could take away from me uh, and just legit evidence that God existed. And so I began to seek God about it and I, and I kind of landed on this idea of, because I used to always watch TVN, right? So the Christian Broadcasting Network, CBN, not TVN. And uh, no, it is TVN. Uh, and uh, and I really wanted to see. I really wanted to get to know God as a God who provided for me, right? And so I began to pray and I began to ask God that He would begin to do financial miracles in my life, and like I saw Him doing in the people's lives on TV. And I know that's kind of a childish prayer, but the funny thing is that God actually began to do that. And I found that over the, the, the ensuing months and years that, man, I have had so many crazy blessings in my life, both financially uh, and just in every other aspect of my life, too. But one, one instance is I really want to get uh, subs for my car. So for those of you who don't know, those are like big bass speakers that you put in the trunk of your car. All right, I had just gotten this brand new car. I was in high school and I really wanted subs, but they were like $400 and I couldn't afford them. And so I began to pray about it and I was like, God, I really want these speakers, but I don't have money. Can you give me the money? And one day I got a phone call from my friend who had gotten this really good job on the base and he was making a ton of money that summer. And he just said, hey, I want to I go to Best Buy with me. So I went with him and he ended up buying me subs and an amp for my car. And that was one of the first times in my life where I realized that there's power in prayer, even when it's something as, as uh, materialistic as that, you might say. But God likes to give us the desires of our hearts, and God enjoys uh, when we're happy, right? And He wants to show us that He is strong on our behalf. And so I've seen God do crazy things in my life um, in the years since. Um, things uh, that have changed me and made me a much more dynamic person, a much more whole person, and it's strengthened my faith. And so um, this morning, I really want to just encourage you with this, with this, I really want to ask you this question, and I also want to encourage you, but my question is, do you actually know that God exists? And if you, if you, if you can't answer that question like with a, a firm yes, then my, my next encouragement to you then is to find something in your life that aligns with scripture and ask God to give it to you and let God prove himself strong in your behalf because he will do it. He's faithful even when we're faithless, right? And he's a big God. He says uh, in Mark 11, 24, he says, have faith in God. But I tell you the truth, if you say to this mountain, be you lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. But you must believe that will happen and have no doubt in your heart. And so if you can ask God for anything, he will give it to you. And if you trust him and if you're seeking him with a pure heart and with pure motives, God is faithful to answer you. And so that's my encouragement for you guys this morning. Um, hit me up in the, in the comments. I would love to talk to you guys, to pray with you guys, and to, um, yeah, just be a further encouragement in any way I can. All right, love you guys. Catch you later. Peace.